Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me know where you're watching from in the comment section in the chat uh, box. If you're watching from YouTube, my name is Melody. Welcome to House of Hosting Heaven. I'm excited to have you here today. If you are on YouTube, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. If you're watching from TikTok, do also consider subscribing um, right here on this platform. I believe that God has given us a word this morning. Come in here, come in here, come in here. Share the live broadcast, if you will. Good morning, Cloney. Did I say that right, Cloney? Good morning, Edward. Good morning in due season. Good morning, Bongani. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have a feeling today is going to be powerful. It's going to be life-changing. Siamo, to me, Edward, Janet, Deborah, Chennai, Pedi, Wendy. Good morning, King Sean. God bless you, sweetie. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I have a feeling today is going to be a good one. I need you to get in here. We have to cover all corners. Do I have any firstborns in the chat room? Just raise your hand if you're a firstborn because I, I specifically think that today is going to be intense and very powerful for you. I see firstborns in the comment section. God has a word for you. And if you're not a firstborn, do not... Worry, I believe that you are a point of contact this morning. I believe that the Lord has caused you to rise up so you can be a point of contact for your firstborn, family firstborn. I believe I have a word from the Lord this morning and we're going to pray into it and press into it. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, prayer governors. God bless you. I'm excited. These days, you, 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 you come on in early. You know if you don't come on in early, you're going to find us along the way. <laughs> good morning, Fel Felicia. Do we have any firstborns in the comment section? Just by a raise of hands. Just let me know. Just say, just, just a hand lifted emoji, hand lifted emoji. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all the firstborns in the comment section this morning. We thank you for every family represented by point of contact who are standing in, um, in, the, in, the, in the place of firstborns in their family. We want to break some things today. Uh, we want to release them into the week and release them into the second half of this year, empowered in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, and so uh, we thank you because we know you're going to do a powerful thing this this morning. You're going to do a powerful work this morning. You're going to do a powerful work this morning. Hallelujah. And if you are the first person in your family to do something, I want you to, to your, your ears of the spirit to be attentive and to, to be attentive in a revelatory way. Because even though we're going to be talking about firstborns, many of you are first in your family to accomplish and establish certain things. And you wonder why you struggle so much. You wonder why you, 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 you are fighting and contending with things that are way above your pay grade. You say, woman of God, I don't know why, why I keep fighting these things and they keep coming back. It's because you are the first you are the first. You are the first. So we're going to be praying for the first. We're going to be praying for the first. Father, thank you for your word today. Thank you for your spirit that is alive in the atmosphere. Thank you for your deliverance power that is potent in the atmosphere this morning. We pray that today's session is empowering today's session it delivers many families out of cycles delivers many families out of uh, generational altars it delivers many families and many firsts from turmoil that you never intended for them to experience 
in the matchless name of Jesus. I thank you today. Share this live broadcast with somebody. Um, just share it on your timeline. You, you don't know somebody might need it. And may God bless you greatly as you do so. If you have your Bible with me, I want you to open the book of Exodus 18 verse 2. I felt the Lord today say, say, dedicate the firstborns, dedicate the first, dedicate the first, dedicate the first, dedicate the first, the first people to open a business, the first people to go to university, the first people dedicate the first, dedicate the first. So Exodus 18 verse two, somebody could just type that in the comment section, Exodus 18 verse two, the Bible says, then the Lord said to Moses, Consecrate to me every firstborn. Another version says, Consecrate to me every firstborn male. The firstborn from every womb among the Israelites belongs to me. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about that because I'm a firstborn myself. Both of man and of beast. I'm going to repeat that. The Bible says, then the Lord said to Moses, consecrate to me every firstborn male. Another version just says, sanctify unto me all the firstborn. Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of men and of beast, it is mine. It is mine. So somebody says, I have an echo. Thank you for that. Talabo Santa Lamanda. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, does anyone else hear the echo? Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, nobody hears the echo. Let's move. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord begins to minister to Moses and he says to Moses, I want you to set apart firstborns. I want you to set apart firstborns. Sanctify unto me the firstborn. Whatsoever opened the, the womb. I'm speaking to people who have opened the womb. They have opened the womb in their family. They've opened the womb of financial prosperity as business owners. They've opened the womb that uh, the womb out of this poverty through getting a, a you're the first person in your family that probably has a decent job. You have started building onto something. And I believe that this morning God wants us to consecrate ourselves unto him. He says whatsoever opened the womb among the children of Israel. First person to buy property. First person to get a car. First person to live in a decent neighborhood, to get out of that township, to get out of that ghetto, to get out of that location. The Lord says, whatsoever opened the womb so that the family could enter into a new dimension, consecrate them unto me. He says, both man and beast, it is mine. It is mine. It is mine. I'm sent in a sermon this morning to tell you that the Lord wants you. The Lord wants you. So just a little bit of testimony. I am a firstborn myself. And in my lineage, I am not only the firstborn in my mother and my father's family, but I'm also the firstborn in my first grandchild, um, in my in my, in my, in my grandfather and my grandmother's lineage. So not only am I carrying the load of being the first born in my family, but I also am the first, first granddaughter in my lineage, in my lineage. And I was the first person. So clearly I was the first person to go to high school. I also then became the first person to go to university. Um, I also was the first person to leave my country to go to a foreign country to study. So I was breaking a lot of ceilings in my family. The Lord had placed me in a strategic space where I was breaking a lot of tough and barren ground. Who am I speaking to this morning? You're saying, woman of God, I am the first in many things in my family and I struggle greatly. 
I have been experiencing uncommon and unusual warfare because I, I seem to be the person that's opening the lead. The, the, I'm, I'm opening the ceiling to many, 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 many spaces in my family, whether it's a financial space. I find that I'm, I'm the first person to own a house. I, I found that I'm, I've been the first person to get a, to, to get a, a job. I've been the first person to, to be given a share, shareholdership in my company. I, I, I'm the first person to own shares in my company. I'm the first person to own a, a, a business in my family I'm, I'm 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 the first person to 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 have a child and a great great grandchild uh for for my for my parents so you are entering into new territory and you are the first person to enter in many instances so i i encountered much difficulty i encountered much struggle I encountered much warfare because I was the first. Who am I speaking to this morning? I don't want you to step into certain dimensions oblivious of the fact that, fact that if you are the first, you are going to encounter certain warfare. If you are the first, you're going to encounter certain warfare. And, and don't, get, don't get agitated. Don't get confused. Don't get shocked because we have already, we, we've already said to you, if you are the first, there is going to be battle. There is going to be contention there's going to be noise in the spirit concerning you why because you are the first touch and agree to this word this morning prayer governors god wants to do something over this live broadcast somebody says i have always been treated as the black sheep why B because because there is a lot of things that people don't have reference concerning in your family no wonder when you get new detail and new information that can elevate the way the, the, the family systems and the family structures can be changed. When you come and propose it, people hate you for it because you're trying to destroy status quo that has permitted and allowed people in your family to live in certain limitations and certain confinements. Uh huh. When you give them new information, when you tell them, listen, I have a new way of doing things. I, I think that it's better if our family learns how to have difficult conversations. No, they would rather keep quiet because keeping quiet allows that spirit of bitterness to fester in the family. Keeping quiet allows that spirit of anger and hatred amongst siblings to fester in the family. When you say, why don't we learn how to have healthy, healthy, difficult conversations with each other? They would rather keep quiet because keeping quiet is what made your mother die of cancer because she had nobody to confide in she held all the pain on her shoulders never told anyone didn't have anybody to confide in who am i speaking to this morning who am i speaking to this morning so here are some of the problems that i believe that many of you are encountering as first in your family share this live broadcast with somebody that you know needs it I bring you greetings from Pastor uh, from from Pastor Tim. He enjoyed thoroughly being here on Friday, so I, I'm super excited that he had a great time. And thank you so much for receiving him with both hands and loving on him and touching and agreeing with him. Uh, we were connected. I was at home. My little boy was already awake, so we were we were drinking some tea and and praying. <laughs> some of the problems that many of you are encountering is that you have no reference. You have no reference. You, 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 you don't have a blueprint. There is no blueprint that you can follow. You have never seen anybody that is modeling what you are doing. You don't have a, 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 a person that you can look at and you can learn from. You are the reference. God is building a reference story out of your life. I don't know who I'm speaking to. You are struggling to find mentorship. You are struggling to find a model. And some of you, when you look at the lives of your fathers and your mothers, yes, you love them, you honor them, you respect them, but you know for a fact that certain things could be done better. Who am I speaking to this morning? And you're saying, woman of God, when I look at my family, there are certain things that can be done better. I love them. I honor them for all the efforts that they, they, they pumped into our family history. But I know that God is calling me to something higher. But I don't have a, a reference for it. I don't have a blueprint for the thing that I feel in my spirit. I just feel that God is calling me higher. I feel that God is telling me it can be done better. I feel that God is telling me that he wants me to ascend to an elevated position. But I don't know how to get there. Why? 
Because you're a firstborn. You don't have any reference. <clears throat> Who am I speaking to this morning? There is no blueprint. There is no footnotes for the life that you are living. You don't have a testimonial that you can read. You don't have somebody that you can look at. That's why many of you, you can't afford to be a firstborn and not have a prayer life. You can't afford to be a firstborn and not walk this journey with Jesus. You can't afford to be a firstborn and not have a discerning eye that is able to hack in certain things in the spirit and break some altars, break some generational curses, break some cycles. Why? Because God has trusted you to be the first. God has trusted you to go before. God has trusted you, according to Exodus 13 verse 2 today, to open the womb. Who am I speaking to this morning, prayer governors? So there is no reference. You are, you, you, are, you are writing a homework that doesn't have any reference. It's like you're writing a homework and you don't have Google. <laughs> you, you can't go online and try to wing this thing. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. You need Jesus to hold you by the hand and help you navigate the corridors of destiny. Who am I speaking to this morning? You, you carry many problems because some of you are, 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 you are fighting ancient issues. You are fighting generational issues. You are fighting lineage issues. Ah, your great, great, great grandparents fought this thing. Your great, great grandparents fought this thing. Your grandparents fought this thing. Your parents struggled with this thing. And God says, I have sent you an assignment to break a few things. Oh, who am I speaking to this morning? Share this live broadcast. Somebody. You are fighting ancient issues. And God says, I want the firstborn to be sanctified. I want them to be dedicated unto me because they are mine. There are certain people on this live broadcast, God says, if you would change the way that your life is moving, if you would dedicate your life to me, I would change your bloodline. If you would dedicate your life to me, I would change your bloodline. If you would dedicate your life to me, there are certain things that your siblings are struggling with that would immediately terminate because you have opened up the door to change. Some of you are fighting ancient issues. Some of you are fighting ancient issues. Many of you were deputy parents. Many of you had to grow up a lot quicker than you should have. Many of you, your siblings came at a time when you also needed the affection of your parents. You also needed the support of your parents. You needed the undivided love and support and attention of your guardians. Many of you, 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 were, you were called to a higher position of responsibility that you didn't have capacity for. And so you have found in your life that you have continued to, to enter into these positions of leadership. And it's beautiful. It's wonderful to watch. Uh, but, but many of you, there are certain places in your life where you are lacking. Some of you, you lack affirmation. And you have struggled because now you are older and you are seeking this affirmation in all the wrong places. That's right, Aya. You did the best with what you knew. You are seeking affirmation from, from wrong places, seeking affirmation from wrong wells. You are seeking to be refreshed and satisfied from places that have nothing to do with you. Who am I speaking to this morning? Isn't it strange that many people who are firstborns, their marriages break due to adultery. That will not be a portion in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Because they are seeking a certain affirmation from places that are unhealthy and demonic. Why? Because they never received it. They had to quickly share the spotlight with their siblings. 
And before they, just after they had to share the spotlight with their siblings, they had to be groomed to grow up into deputy parents themselves. What am I speaking to this morning? We're breaking a few things in the atmosphere. I want you to start your week on a clean slate. God says, I want you to sanctify the first. So now you have to, you have to carry a responsibility that you have not matured to. And you have to be, you, you, you are, you are, you are starved of certain things that are just basics for children. You are starved of that affirmation. You are starved of a life that you should have lived as a normal child. You are starved of time with your friends. You are starved with, 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 with proclamations that you are good enough. And so you don't understand why you consistently seek people. If anybody just, just affirms you just a little bit, you are willing to risk it all. Risk your marriage for that woman that just gave you a compliment. Who am I speaking to this morning? Someone says, I took care of my brothers and then became a mother at 18. My heart and my love go out to you. God says, sanctify the firstborn unto me. If you're watching on this live broadcast and you're not a firstborn, I want you to stand in the place of, there is a, there is a law in the spirit called the law, the, 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 the law of contact. You are a point of contact this morning. Someone says, I grew up at the age of 10. May God heal you of every wound that you experienced at that age where you had to grow up quicker than you should have. Someone says, I became a mother of three at 14. Can you believe that? At my and my as my parents died with no help. May God minister healing over this live broadcast. Someone says, Dad got sick and I looked after him till he died. Well, you are a child, but you're looking after parents. And now I take care of my mother and I'm the third born and it hurts. Isn't it strange that some of you have been elevated and lifted to positions that you didn't even feel like you had the power and the capacity to tackle? God says this morning, sanctify unto me the first. Oh, who am I speaking to this morning? Who am I speaking to? Somebody says, my son is the firstborn. I want you to stand in the place of your son. And I want you to touch and agree with every prayer point that we're going to pray this morning. Some of you, you got the worst versions of your parents because they were also learning how to be parents. They were also learning how to be parents. Do you know that many of us, um, and I speak largely to this African community, that many of us, our parents, when they had us, they were just coming out of war. They were coming out of survival mode and they had to flee from villages so that they could enter into urban areas. And in that moment of transition, in that moment where they are trying to still even discover who they are in this new dispensation, they had you. Who am I speaking to? And so you are, you are being parented by a parent who, who is also learning what it means to be a parent in this new dispensation. And so you got the worst version of your parents. You got the immature version of your parent. You got the cheating version of your father. You got the, the completely detached version of your mother because they didn't have the tools to navigate this new space. God says, sanctify unto me the first this morning. I want to heal them. I want to teach them. I want to declare that indeed they will say, indeed, I was taught of the Lord. They will say, indeed, I was sanctified by the Lord. They will say, indeed, I was empowered by the Lord. They will say, indeed, I was healed by the Lord. You got to experience the worst version of your parents. That's why you don't understand when you see your younger sisters at home and you see the way they are treated and you feel resentful of your parents because you never encountered this version of your parents. Someone says, I was taking care of my mother when I was 23 and I'm the fourth child. Ooh. Who am I speaking to this morning? I, I, I'm in the vein this morning. I'm, 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 I'm hitting the vein this morning. Some of you, you are first and you are people pleasers. You are people pleasers because you felt the need to please everybody because you watched your parents please everybody. This was before they had boundaries. This was before they realized that they had the power to say no. You, you pleased everybody. This was the time when they, your, your, your parents didn't know that they could say no to that, to that, to that uncle who touched uh, their kids in ways that were, that were unbecoming. This was the time 
when your parents uh, didn't yet have the power to say no to those sleepovers where you were touched in ways that were, in, that were inappropriate. Who am I speaking to this morning? God says, sanctify unto me the first. They went through a lot. They saw a lot. They experienced a lot. Ah, the Bible says, the, 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 the Bible says, sanctify unto me all firstborns, whosoever opened the womb. And if you are not a firstborn, I want you to stand in the place of the firstborns because some of the things that I'm talking about, you can even see them in your firstborn, in your family. Some of you, you are perfectionists. You don't understand why, but every time you did wrong because you were that deputy parent, your parents always treated you harshly. They treated you ever so harshly. Now you've become a perfectionist and you don't know how to just rest. How to rest, how to rest in, 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 in being and not in becoming. You are pursuing these promotions at work. You are pursuing these high elevated and ele lifted up things in business. You are pursuing these escalations. You are pursuing these things in life and you don't know how to just be still and honor and thank God for all the blessings that he has given you. You're about to become a millionaire. You don't understand why, why you still feel so horrible from within. People envy you. You've got, the perfect, you've got the perfect career. People envy your life. But you are so unhappy. Why? Because you're a perfectionist. A product of being the first. A product of being the first. I'm speaking to somebody this morning. The Lord says in Exodus 13 verse 2, Sanctify unto me all the firstborns. Sanctify unto me all the firstborns. Whatsoever opened the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast. Some of you, you have an unhealthy fear of failure. You got an unhealthy fear of failure. You don't understand why. Because you were the first. You didn't have the luxury. You didn't have the luxury to fail. You had to, to do everything right. Who am I speaking to this morning? You had to do everything right. You didn't have the luxury to fail. I want to give some biblical examples of the first. We meet a man named Adam at the beginning of scripture. And the Bible actually calls him the, 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 first, the first Messiah. They call him the first the first, the first son. And then Jesus then comes as the second Adam. Mm, mm. Adam is caught up in a space where there is really no, there is no blueprint. There is really no blueprint. And so he has to connect himself to God. But he doesn't understand how detrimental it is to not only connect himself, himself to, to the Lord, to walk very dil diligently with the Lord, to walk very, very faithfully with the Lord. He doesn't understand how detrimental it is for him to walk with the Lord and to obey, walk in obedience with the Lord. That one day, him and his wife, fall under the lies of the enemy and they disobey the Lord. It is a difficult thing to be a firstborn because you don't have anybody to look at. Many of us, we are, we are, we are victorious in this lifetime because we have Adam to look at in the Bible. We have many people in the word of God to look at. A cloud of witnesses who are cheering on for us and saying, you cannot fail where I failed. Share this live broadcast with somebody on your timeline. They might be in need of it. We have so many clouds of witnesses. We have so many blueprints. We have so many examples. And we have the chief example in Jesus Christ. But Adam didn't have an example. And he didn't yet know how detrimental, how incredibly important it was to walk hand in hand with God. Prayer governors, when you are first born, you cannot afford to not know the Lord. Prayer governors, if you are first born, you cannot afford to live a life filled with compromise. Prayer governors, if you are the first born, you are the door to many things in your family. Once you open that door, you don't understand why when you started drinking, everybody else in your family started drinking. When you started smoking, everybody else in your family started smoking. Why? Because you are a door. Once you open, you don't understand the things that you are putting your siblings and everybody else in your lineage and your generational bloodline through. 
because you are a door. This morning, God says, sanctify unto me all the firstborns. And if you're not a firstborn, touch and agree with me. Stand in the place of this morning. So Adam is caught up in disobedience. He's caught up in disobedience because he doesn't understand that this is, it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's not an option for you to walk with the Lord when you're a firstborn. I had to learn very late in life that I didn't have an option, but to give my life to Christ. I didn't have an option, but to live a life with no compromise. I couldn't, I couldn't go to the clubs like everybody else. I couldn't drink like everybody else. I couldn't smoke like everybody else. I couldn't dabble in a little bit of, a little bit of new age like everybody else. I couldn't dabble in a little bit of Buddhism like everybody else. I, 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 I am a doll. I am a doll. I have been lifted up as a prayer governor. I've been lifted up as an intercessor for my family and I'm breaking things and I'm shaking up things and I'm declaring things and I'm legislating things into my bloodline that never existed. Who am I speaking to this morning? Prayer governors. I'm speaking forth new virtue. I'm speaking forth new things. I'm speaking for new, forth new blessings. I'm prophesying new things into my bloodline. Who am I speaking to this morning? I can't afford to live like others who had great grandfathers and grandfathers and mothers who believed in the Lord. I am starting up something new. I've got to be diligent. I've got to be set, up, set apart. The Lord says, sanctify unto me the firstborns. I'm sent on a sermon this morning to declare to somebody that you are a door and the things that you have opened up to your generation, the things that you have opened up to your bloodline, the things that you have opened up to your sibling. You don't understand why many of the things that are happening in your family started with you. You are a door. You are, you are a door. I need you to stand in the place of your firstborn if you are not one. So Adam is caught up in disobedience because really there is no, there is no, there is no reference. And unless you walk hand in hand with God, Adam, where are you going to know how to navigate the corridors of assignment, the corridors of destiny? It's not optional to walk with Christ, prayer governors. It's not optional. The, it, it's not optional. You can't, you can't, you can't. It's not optional. You're a door. Somebody is going to open you at some point. You're going to permit certain things in your bloodline at some point. It's, it's not voluntary. It's not non-compulsory. <laughs> you, you don't have a choice. You've got to be sanctified unto the Lord. Who am I speaking to this morning? Another example of a, of a firstborn is Israel, the nation of Israel itself. Isn't that fascinating? I love scripture. It's so good. The Bible says in the book, book of Exodus 4 verse 22, it says, Thou shalt, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my first son, even my firstborn. Ah, la crodisha namanda. Exodus 4 verse 23 then says, And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. This is the Lord's declaration this morning. He says, let my son go. Let my firstborn go. Let Israel go. This was the word that he gave to Moses concerning the nation of Israel. He says, I want you to go tell Pharaoh, let my firstborn go. I want somebody to stand on that word today. I want you to say, Lord, may, may the enemy let me go. May the enemy let me go. May the enemy let me go. I no longer want to do the bidding for the enemy. I no longer want to be found in compromise. I no longer want to be found as a door that's opening up alcoholism, smoking, adultery, cheating fornication in my in my family i i no longer want to be the door that opens anger and hatred and frustration in my family i no longer want to be the door that's opening up bloodline related issues i no longer want to be the one that's raising up altars of immorality in my family who am i speaking to this morning god says let my first born go let israel go pharaoh let him go that he may worship him worship me this is god's declaration for somebody this morning 
This is God's declaration for somebody this morning. He says, let my firstborn go that they may worship me, that they may serve me. I sense a deliverance grace in the atmosphere this morning. I know it's just Monday, but we need to set something straight in the spirit. He says, let my firstborn go that he may worship me. Let my firstborn go that he may worship me. Let my daughter go that he may worship me. Let this firstborn go go that ceilings may be broken in their family. Let this firstborn go that glass ceilings and demonic limitations may be broken in their family. Let this firstborn go that altars may be broken in the name of Jesus. Let this firstborn go. So Adam is disobedient. Ah, uh, Israel is captured. Cain murders his brother. Mm, who am I speaking to? Reuben is adulterous with his father's wife, his father's concubine. Who am I speaking to? All of these are firstborns. I want you to go and do a Bible study on firstborns, especially if you're a firstborn. Esau sells his birthright. How many of you have sold your position in the family? You have sold your birthright, sold your position in the family. Now the thirdborn is the one that is that has given their lives to Christ and is living a straight life. And whenever you are at the family cookout, it almost seems as though the, the thirdborn seems like the firstborn. They are respected like they are the firstborn. They are honored like they are the firstborn. Their lives are, 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 are full of glory like, like they are the firstborn. Why? Because you have traded and sold your birthright. Your life has been filled with so much compromise that you don't have any moral jurisdiction to speak anything at a family cookout. You can't advise anyone because you are you have lived a life filled with so much compromise. Your family is broken. Your children are unhappy. Your wife is frustrated. You are, people are constantly coming in and every time it's your issue. It's your family issue. You can't hold a job. Why? Because you have traded and sold your birthright. You have, you have swapped your birthright. Now the third born looks like the first born. Why? Because there are certain doors that you opened up. Now you don't have any moral jurisdiction in your family to speak forth the word prophetically and legislate in the spirit because you are living a life of compromise. Who am I speaking to this morning? Some of you are saying, woman of God, you are describing my brother. Woman of God, you're describing my sister. They are the firstborn. And when, whenever we go into family setups, they don't have moral, more, they don't have a moral uh, high ground to say anything. Th their word is not respected. Why? Because they, they have lived lives filled with compromise. Mm. Mm. That's right, when eh? Reuben, Reuben slept with his father's concubine. God says, God says, sanctify unto me the firstborn. This morning, you are going to declare yourself sanctified. Who am I speaking to? You're going to declare yourself sanctified. You're going to say, Lord, I am a door in my family. Close this door. Let it be opened only for blessings. Let it be opened only for increase. Let it be opened only for prosperity. Let it only be opened for the very things that you desire to see in my bloodline. I refuse to open this door up to the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Alekos inamanda. Rendo lobosa. I hear the Lord saying there is still a chance for you. I know you have lived a life filled with compromise. I know you've made so many bad decisions. I know you've made so many horrible decisions. But there is still grace at the altar for you still grace at the altar for you woman of god i was incarcerated i came out and i was never the same person i'm the first born in my family but i'm noticing that this thing that i that i opened up the door to in my bloodline it's starting to trickle to my brother i'm constantly chasing after my brother telling him that he needs to leave right or else he's going to go into prison like myself god says sanctify unto me the firstborn once you are sanctified and once you take your legal jurisdiction and you take up your position as an intercessor and a prayer governor let me tell you prayer governors god is getting ready to cleanse bloodlines god is getting ready to cleanse bloodlines as we set up the divine order in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, prayer governors, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray this morning. You know, you know where you are. You know where your family is. You know where you have set your family and your bloodline by the things that you have opened up. 
the, the things that you have given the enemy access to in your bloodline. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to travail. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to denounce certain things that you have opened up your bloodline to. Some of you are saying, I don't know why, but I struggle. I struggle in the area of gossip and I've noticed that all my siblings now struggle in that area. Some of you are saying, I don't know why, but I struggle in finances. And it seems like I've opened up a door to the enemy. Now all of my siblings, none of us is financially stable. Who am I speaking to this morning? I need you to lift up your voice and begin to pray, prayer governors. Cleanse us, O oh God. Maka shakadia da sakadia. Separate us, O oh God. Sanctify us this morning. Mandara do shekedia. Rando rosoko doro rondo shekeriada. Separate me, Father, in my family. Mandele kosa. Sanctify me, Father, in my family. Kirada shanda kasi kadia. Rando sakadia nda shakatala bosa. Sanctify me, King of Glory. Rendo sekete shikaya bababa. Sanctify me in my family. Go sakadi andele meke riando sakadi andele meke. Quicken me in the spirit, Father, that I may be able to break certain things in my lineage. That I may stand as an intercessor. That I may stand as a territorial commander in the spirit. That I may stand in the name of Jesus as one who stands as a door closed up to everything evil and opened to the blessings that you want, Father God, to release into my lineage. Mako Sakadiadasha. Rando Sokodo Shokonomondo Logosa. Rendere Sanctify us, O God, according to your word this morning. Prayer governors, I need you to touch and agree with me this morning. I want you to lay a, a hand on your head. I want you to lay a hand on your head. I want you to say, Father, give me the keys to my office. Yatalabosa. Give me the keys to my office as the firstborn. And if you're standing in the 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 place of somebody, I want you to say, Lord, give my brother, give my sister the keys to their office. Give them the keys to their office. Open up their eyes that they may understand who they are in this family. Open up their eyes so that they may understand who they are. Mm. In this family, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for every firstborn under the sound of my voice. Give them their rightful position. Align them in their rightful position. Sanctify them in their position in the name of Jesus. As they are a door in the matchless name of Jesus. Redeem them in the name of Jesus. Cleanse them by your blood. Make their lives a billboard of your mercy and grace this morning. In the name of Jesus, forgive them of their sin, sins of their immaturity, sins of their omissions, sins of commission. In the name of Jesus, remove, Father God, the stench of sin from their lives. Close the doors that they have opened to the evil one in their families. Sanctify them for yourself. They are yours, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. May the mercy of God be revealed through their lives. May people see your mercy through their lives in the name of Jesus. And may you begin a cleansing of a whole generation, a cleansing of a whole bloodline through them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you are taking. I want you to lay hands on your head and say, Father, I plead mercy over my lineage. I plead mercy over my lineage. May we not get what we deserve. Mercy over covenants that were made by our forefathers. May mercy over covenants made by our forefathers. Who am I speaking to today? Mercy over things spoken about our bloodline in the name of Jesus. Mercy over contracts, demonic contracts that were spoken concerning our bloodline. Lord, we plead mercy over pacts that were made unknowingly or knowingly by our great grandfathers, our fathers, our forefathers in the name of Jesus. 
tying our lineage to demonic contracts, tying our lineage to demonic pacts, tying our lineage to demonic treaties. In the name of Jesus, we plead mercy. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Let the blood of Jesus wash us. Let the blood of Jesus sanctify us this morning. Let the blood of Jesus separate us. Separate us from deals and bargains that were made in times before us. In the name of Jesus, according to your word, O oh God, we shall no longer suffer for the sins of our forefathers. In the name of Jesus, I want you to declare this prayer, governors. I want you to say, I shall no longer th suffer the sins of my forefathers. I shall no longer suffer for the sins of my forefathers. I shall no longer be held bound by the contracts of my forefathers. I shall no longer be bound by the pacts held by my forefathers. I shall no longer be bound to the treaties held by my forefathers. Who am I speaking to prayer governors? I want you to touch and agree with this word. Tap that screen, somebody. Comment in the comment section. Touch and agree with this word. Don't just stare. Don't just watch. Don't just observe. This is your day of salvation. Who am I speaking to this morning? Touch and agree with this word in one way or the other. Declare it. Open up your mouth and say, I shall no longer be held bound by the deals and the bargains. By the pledges and the promises that were made concerning my bloodline by my forefathers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Abortive spirits that were opened up in my life. By way of pacts and contracts. Demonic pacts and demonic contracts. In the name of Jesus. I declare myself sanctified. In the name of Jesus. Agreements that were made by my forefathers. Understandings and pledges that were made by my forefathers. I plead mercy over my lineage in the name of Jesus. I plead mercy over my lineage. I plead mercy over my brothers. I plead mercy over my sisters. I plead mercy over my children. I plead mercy over my family name. I plead the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of God that breaks the yoke of bondage break bondages this morning. In the name of Jesus. I don't know about these contracts. I don't know about these treaties. I was not there when these pacts were made. I was not there when these promises of blood were made. I was not there when these promises concerning our finances were made. I was not there when these arrangements and these agreements, demonic arrangements and demonic agreements were made in the name of Jesus. I plead mercy over my lineage. Touch and agree with this word prayer, governess. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray. I know people might be sleeping in your home, but you can whisper these declarations. Come on, somebody. You can whisper these declarations. Don't close your mouth when it is destiny defining moments like these. Don't close. Don't allow the enemy to deceive you and close your mouth. I plead mercy over my mother. I plead mercy over my father. I plead mercy over my brothers. I plead mercy over our bloodline. I plead mercy over our lineage. We know nothing concerning the agreements made by our forefathers. We know nothing concerning the guarantees that were made and the warrants that were made, undertakings that were made, commitments made concerning our family name. We plead mercy. We plead mercy. The mercy of God. The mercy of God over my siblings who are struggling to hold a job. The mercy over my siblings who are educated but st struggling in their finances. The mercy over our bloodline that's struggling in their marriages the mercy of god the mercy of god over our lineage struggling to finish school the mercy over our lineage struggling with a certain illness every person in our lineage has this illness but we break this evil and demonic covenants and we plead the mercy of god this morning in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, we plead mercy, God. We plead mercy this morning. 
We plead mercy. We knew nothing about these dealings. We knew nothing about these pacts. We knew nothing about these demonic contracts this morning. In the name of Jesus. We knew nothing about these dealings, these bargains in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, La Krodesha. according to Psalm, uh, Proverbs 28 verse 18, the Bible says, no one who conceals transgression will prosper. No one who conceals transgression will, pro will prosper, but one who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Who am I speaking to this morning? Some of you, you are aware it has been revealed to your lineage that the kind of contracts that your, 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 your forefathers were involved in. I want you to denounce them by name this morning. I want you to denounce them by name this morning. Some of you, you are coming from lineages that dabbled in the occultic, that dabbled in witchcraft, that dabbled in, in spiritual healings of all sorts and, and kinds. You know for, for a fact, you know the names. I want you to mention them. If, 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 it's, if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's something that you know by name, I need you to lift up your voice and begin to mention. Father, we thank you because your word says no one conceals transgression and prosper. We are ready for our elevation. We are ready for our lifting. We are ready for our prosperity. We are ready for our expansion. We are ready, Father God, for our next level. And Father, we refuse to conceal the transgression of our forefathers. We refuse to cover the transgressions of our forefathers. We refuse because we are ready for our next level. And so, Father, we begin to confess the sins of our forefathers. Rando Shakadaba Sakadiadala. Sins of omission, sins of commission, sins done knowingly and unknowingly. In the name of Jesus, sins done in their seasons of ignorance. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we begin to, to declare and release, Father God, all these transgressions. In the name of Jesus, we begin to uncover them. In the name of Jesus, we plead the mercy of God. We plead the mercy of God. We plead the mercy of God. We plead the mercy of God this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. The Lord says, sanctify unto me the first. Sanctify unto me the first. In the name of Jesus. Father, we repent the, the sins of our forefathers. In the name of Jesus, we say, Lord, have mercy on us. Overlook the sins of our forefathers. Overlook the sins of our forefathers. We want a new dispensation. We want to live in a new dispensation in the name of Jesus. So connect us to your blood. Connect us to the lineage of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. Prayer governors, I want you to raise up your voice. We're about to finish. We're about to end. I want you to, I want you to contend in the last few minutes of this prayer. I want you to gird up on eagle's wings. I want you to gird up in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. And I want you to fight and to contend. In the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Father, silence every curse spoken over my lineage. Father, Silence every curse spoken over my lineage. Reverse every curse spoken over my lineage. I'm battling in my marriage because of the curses spoken over my lineage. I'm battling with my mind over the curse spoken over my lineage. I'm battling in my workplace over the curse spoken over my lineage. I am battling in my friendships, battling over the because of the curse spoken over my lineage. But I declare the mercy of God. Ay, 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 I declare the mercy of God. Eranda masoka di adasaka. Lebro do 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 do. Shekelele le sinda da ba soka di adasande. La crodo soko dolo soko. Randa la soka. Father, according to Isaiah 30 verse 18, your word says, Therefore the Lord waits to be gracious to you. Therefore he will rise up to show you mercy. Father, we place a demand on Isaiah 30 verse 18. Your word says you show, you wait to be gracious to us. You wait to show us mercy. Rise up, O oh God, this morning and let each and every one of my enemies be scattered. Let each and every one of our lineage enemies be scattered this morning, Father. In the name of Jesus. 
Rise up, O oh God, and let our enemies be scattered. According to Isaiah 30 verse 18, you have been waiting to be gracious to me. Show your grace, O oh God. Show your grace, O God. Silence every curse. Silence every curse, O God. Silence the curses of our forefathers. The curses initiated by our forefathers. The altars erected by our forefathers. Silence them this morning in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Father, demonic covenants working against my lineage. I speak judgment on them today. Say it, repeat it with me. Father, demonic covenants working against my lineage. I speak judgment on them today. In the name of Jesus, I am Asoka. Prayer governors, I want you to press in. We have a few minutes left. La Zanda. Some of you know these covenants by name. Father God, I declare and I decree over my family. I want you to say this. Speak them by name. Renounce them. Denounce them. In the name of Jesus. Demonic covenants, Father. Demonic covenants made with our family name on them. Yako Sakadia Dalabasa. Let the yoke of an uh, 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 yoke be broken by the anointing in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be broken by the anointing in the name of Jesus. Yako Zalabasa Kadianda Labosa Radolo Zocodorodosa. We renounce this demonic covenant in the name of Jesus. La Kodarada Saka. We call forth the power of the blood of Jesus to come into full effect in these covenants in the name of Jesus. The greatest altar ever erected. The, the altar of the blood of Jesus. Let it rise up and dismantle every evil and demonic altar in, their, in our lives in the name of Jesus. Deliver us, O oh God, from these demonic altars. Arrest every power. Arrest every principality. Arrest every demonic agent sent an assignment in our lives to frustrate us. To frustrate us in our marriages. Frustrate us in our relationships. Frustrate us in the name of Jesus and cause demonic delays. In the name of Jesus, we come against them in the, them in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree. That no weapon fashioned against us by the enemy shall be able to prosper. In the matchless name of Jesus. May evil be thrown out of its high places this morning. We speak change in the atmosphere. We, we speak a release of mercy in the atmosphere. We speak a release of the grace of God in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to lay hands on your heads, prayer governors, as we finish. I want you to say, Father, I claim my lineage for the kingdom of Christ. I claim my lineage for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing some of you come back with testimonies. You're going to say, woman of God, I don't know how. But my brother who was an alcoholic, my, my brother who was a career criminal, found his way to a church. And I don't know how, woman of God, but he's now saved. Uh, some of you are going to are gonna have outrageous testimonies. You're going you're gonna to say things like, I don't know how, but all of us, in my, my siblings, we've been struggling financially. But there has just been a shift in our finances some of you are going to say i don't know how but we have been struggling in our marriages all of our siblings have been having tumultuous relationships and marriages but i don't know how something shifted and all of us we are we are learning we are learning we are working in our marriages we are genuinely intentional about making things work and some of you you are wives and you are married to firstborns and your husband is a firstborn i want you to pray for him Pray for him in the last two minutes of this pro broadcast prayer, governor. Pray for your husband. I want you to mention him by name. Say, I pray he, for him as the firstborn. He is the door to many things. Help him to live a life of integrity, oh God. Help, help him to live a life that honors you. Help him to live a life that opens up blessings to this lineage and not curses. Break that foul spirit of adultery. 
Break that false spirit of fornication. Break that false spirit of addiction. Break that false spirit of masturbation. Break that false spirit of alcoholism and, and smoking. Why is it that the enemy has infested so many vices on that firstborn? Why is it that the enemy has infested so many vices on your husband? I want you to stand up and raise up your voice. Raise up your voice as an intercessor. Raise up your voice as a prayer governing wife. Raise up your voice as a legislator in the spirit and begin to speak and declare blessings over your husband. Thank you, Jesus, that every demonic covenant working against our lineage has faced its judgment this morning, oh God. We are going to sense a shift and we're going to see a shift in our families. Thank you, Jesus, that we have claimed our lineage for Jesus Christ. Many people that are still wandering in the world, they are now finding their way to the kingdom in miraculous ways. In miraculous ways. I thank you, Jesus, that this morning you have cleansed our bloodline of, of covenant issues. I thank you, Jesus, this morning that we have relinquished the keys to every generational altar into your hands that has been working against us, working against our families, working against our marriages, working against our finances, working against everything that we love in the name of Jesus. I thank you that this morning you have silenced the curse of our forefathers. We were not there when these contracts, these demonic contracts were made. I thank you, Jesus. And I plead mercy and grace over our lives. I thank you, Jesus, that firstborns are arising to their legal position. I thank you, Father, that you are sanctifying every firstborn under the sound of my voice. And you are sanctifying every firstborn that is represented by somebody this morning under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are receiving help from above this morning. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you're taking, where we're closing our prayer governance. You, you are receiving a new sense of responsibility this morning. You are receiving a new access to God. God says, I'm going to walk with you. You can't afford to, to walk a life that is compromising. I'm going to walk with you. I'm, I'm holding you by the hand and I'm going to train you and teach you what it, it means to lead. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you're taking. God says, I'm going to walk with you. This is this was today's word. Sanctify unto me all the firstborns whatsoever opened the, the womb. For it is mine. God says, you are mine. Ah. God says, you are mine. Your, your daughter is his. Your son is his. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you're taking. God says, you are mine. You don't have to walk this very difficult journey alone. You don't have to navigate the corridors of destiny and assignment alone. You don't have to fight these covenant battles and lineage battles and generational ancient altars alone. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to equip you. Some of you from today onwards, you're going to start receiving dreams. In way of dreams, God is going to start speaking to you concerning certain specific areas where you need to pray and fast concerning. Because hidden in these very sacred places are generational altars. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you're taking. May you not feel the pinch of your giving. Prayer governors, we're becoming better and better at sharing. You share because you love people on your timeline. And you know that if it's not relevant to you, it might be relevant to someone on your timeline. And I love TikTok because it doesn't stay on your profile. It just goes on your timeline and people are ministered to and blessed. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning, but I'm seeing shifts happening in families. Shifts are happening in finances of, of siblings. It's going to be, it's like a blessing that I'm seeing overshadowing your whole bloodline. All of you, you are, you are struggling. You don't understand why, because you are, all of you are de degreed up. You are certificated up. But you can't hold a job. There's always some strange wind that comes when you get a, a good job. You can't, you can't keep jobs. You, you, your marriages are frustrated. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that today God is holding the earth by its edges. And he is shaking evil out of its high places in your life. In the name of Jesus. A new dispensation. A dispensation of blessings. Who am I speaking to this morning? A dispensation of ease. Who am I speaking to this morning? A dispensation of being helped by the Lord. 
Who am I speaking to this morning? A dispensation of prosperity in your bloodline. Who am I speaking to? A dispensation of peaceful marriages. Ah, I keep hearing God saying peaceful marriages. God is concerned about your, the state of the marriages of your siblings. A dispensation of more than enough. A dispensation where you can pay your rent without borrowing a dispensation of good health god is is taking that disease that demonic covenant a disease out of your lineage in the name of jesus a dispensation of grace a dispensation of grace a dispensation of consecration a dispensation of a family that is sanctified unto the lord i need somebody to praise jesus in the comment section thank you jesus let's praise him in advance let's praise him on credit i don't know who you are but i just want you to lift up your voice on credit and say god i believe you i want you to type in the comment section prophetically god i believe you for what you just did today i believe you i believe you i believe you I believe you. I'm sanctified. My family is sanctified. I believe you. Our firstborn is sanctified. I believe you. As the firstborn, I am sanctified. I believe you. You have broken some things off of me today. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you, Jesus. Oh, I believe you, Jesus. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you for my family. I believe you for my life. I believe you for every covenant that was erected without our knowing. I believe you that you have detached me from any contract I knew nothing about, but I was facing the consequences of. I'm sanctified for God. I believe you, God. You have done something in my life this morning. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Thank you, Jesus, for every person under the sound of my voice this morning. We believe you. We believe you for this new dispensation. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you are taking, Kanye. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I might not see it yet, but I believe you. God bless you, Tamara Show. I believe you. I believe you. God bless you, Tanya. I believe you, God. I don't see it yet, but I believe you. I'm going to walk like somebody that believes. I'm going to talk like somebody that believes. I'm going to act like somebody that believes. I'm going to praise like somebody that believes. I'm going to thank you like somebody that believes. God bless you, wellness. God bless you, Aaron. God, God bless you, Vivian. I believe you, God. I trust you on credit. God bless you, passionate. God bless you, D. I believe you, God. I don't see it yet, yet but I believe you. God bless you, Anonymous. God bless you, Cleo. God bless you, Lean. I believe you, God. I believe you. I, I believe that this is a new dispensation. I want somebody, some, someone to, to write new dispensation. And I want you to stick it on your desktop at work. People are going to walk into your office and they're going to say, what, what, what does new dispensation mean? You're just going to say it. Nah, it's, a, it's, 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 it's something that I'm experiencing. It's something that I've stepped into by faith. May every limitation in your workplace be broken. May every limitation in your marriage be broken. Some of you, I want you to write new dispensation and I want you to, I want you to, to, to stick it on your fridge. So your kids are going to ask, mommy, what does this mean? You're going to say, honey, we're going to walk into it. It's something that God has said we're, we've walked into. Ah, what am I speaking to this morning? New dispensation, new dispensation. It's a new dispensation where you are no longer bound by the limitations of the covenants made by your forefathers. The contracts and the agreements made by your forefathers. Where am I speaking to? God says, sanctify unto me. Sanctify unto me the firstborn for their mind. Consecrate unto me the firstborn for their mind. God bless you, Chan. God bless you. Bless you, Tando. I don't know about you, but I'm believing, I'm believing God with you and for you. Because somebody saying, woman of God, I don't even think I have enough faith. But if you only have faith as little as a mustard seed. And I know you have enough because you stayed on this life broadcast this long. Some of you are saying, woman of God, I wasn't even saying anything because I'm so tired. I, I, I'm believing God with you and for you. I'm believing God with you and for you. God bless you, Anonymous. God bless you, Passionate. I'm believing God with you and for you. God bless you, Clarity. Charity, I'm believing God with you and for you, Nomusa. I'm believing God with you and for you. I'm believing God with you and for you. It's time to live in a new dispensation 
where we're no longer limited by the contracts, the demonic covenants made by our forefathers. And specifically, as every firstborn, I speak a generational blessing over you in the name of Jesus. May you be above and not beneath. May you be the first and not the last. May you be a lender and not a borrower. Some of you, you are, you are, you are, it's, 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 it's embarrassing. You, you borrow from your younger brothers and your younger sisters. May you be a lender and not a borrower in the name of Jesus. In this new dispensation, may all demonic diseases fall off in the name of Jesus. In this new dispensation. May you raise, rise up to take your legal jurisdiction as the firstborn. May you be a door that is closed to all things satanic and a door that is opened to all, all the blessings that God has in store for your generation. In fact, I prophetically declare over the firstborn bones under the sound of my voice that there is a generational blessing that has never been unlocked in your family that you are going to be the first partaker of in the name of Jesus because now you are in alignment. You have been sanctified to the Lord. God says there are certain things that I've always desired and yearned to give to your family but nobody was in alignment but because you have been sanctified this morning you have set yourself up as a sacrifice and you have sanctified yourself up. You have aligned yourself. God says you are going to tap into this generational blessing and it will not only benefit you, but it will, it will benefit the rest of your lineage because you are a door. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prayer governors, God bless you. Have a successful week. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, Tabang. God bless you, see see something you just um, gave right now. God bless you. May God increase what you're taking. God bless you, Mambu. May God increase where all of you have taken. God bless you, Aaron. God bless you, Queen Loy. Um, may you tap into this generational blessing, prayer governors. If you are under the sound of my voice this morning, may you tap into this generational blessing that God has released over you. He says, consecrate unto me. Consecrate unto me the firstborn. You have consecrated yourself. You have set, set yourself apart. You have separated yourself. Somebody, I hear, Holy Spirit, thank you. God says, I'm about to do business with you. Receive this. So this is your word. If it hit, if it hit your spirit, like, like God was speaking specifically to you, God says, I'm about to do business with you. Nobody in your family has ever really aligned themselves to a place where I can truly show what it looks like to be blessed. But I'm about to do business with you. Ooh. I'm about to do business with you in such a way that people will, will look at you and they will... They, some of you... Stories are about to be made concerning you. Ooh, stories are about to be made concerning you. How come they're so blessed? How come they look so different from the rest of us? How come they, they bought property? How, how can someone in this family buy property? How, can, how, how come their children go to these schools? Why? Because God is getting ready to make a reference out of you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, Michelle. God bless you, Vero. May God increase where you're taking, Tando. May God increase where you're taking, Moni. In the name of Jesus. God says, I'm ready to do business with you. I don't know who this word is for, but write it down. And write the date down. Praise him in advance. Begin to walk and step into your business like somebody that was told, I'm about to do business with you. Begin to step into your marriage like somebody who was told by God, I'm about to do business with you. I'm about to prove to the world that marriages can work after strife, after threats of, 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 of divorce, after divorce papers being already issued. I'm about to do business with you. God bless you, Caroline. May God increase where you're taking. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you in advance. I want you to praise God. I want you to learn to praise God in advance. And I want you to be, uh, learn how to start walking like the word you've heard. Start showing up like a person who God affirmed. Start showing up like a person who God sanctified. Start showing up like a person who some, some, some altars were broken off of you. You, you. You've been walking so heavy, but I want you to walk all light. I want you, I want you to, I want you to start running like somebody who had chains tied to their, to their feet. But now those chains have been broken. God says, run, run. God bless you, Bianca. May God increase where you're taking. May you start running. 
may you start may you start soaring may you start uh, some of you the 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 the, the <laughs> Ooh, the speed at which you and this is my last word i need to leave the 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 the, the speed at which you're going to be moving it's known as god speed it's known as god speed god bless you Len lenko lenkodon <laughs> May God increase where you're taking Tamara's show. Thank you so much, Mel. Thank you, Short. May God increase where you guys have taken. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you, Tanya. God speed. God speed. God speed. In the name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. If you missed this live broadcast or you came in in the middle and you are a firstborn, I, I compel you by the mercies of God. By the mercies of God, you need to hear this live broadcast again. Go on our YouTube channel, House of Hosting Heaven. Subscribe to it. Turn on your notification bell. And at 1 p.m. SAST, we rebroadcast these prayer sessions. This exact prayer session, we rebroadcast it. So I want you to, to, to go there and I want you to reconnect with this word. Some of you, you're saying, woman of God, I heard it, but I need to write down notes because there were some thing, things that you were speaking that were so prophetic to my particular sit, situation that I need to write them down to remember the things that God has handled. You know, when you know the things that God has handled, you have this this boldness and this courage, this audacity when you're walking because you you know, no, I, I can't deal with that any longer. God, God already dealt with that. I can't be intimidated by that any longer because God already dealt with that. So sus subscribe to the YouTube channel, House of Hosting Heaven. It's free. It's on YouTube. And go and um, turn on your no notification bell at 1 p.m. SAST. We always rebroadcast these prayers. And I want you to reconnect with this word. God bless you so very much. Some of you, you have brothers and sisters that need to hear this. Someone that you know that if you just send this to, it can change where they are because they're in a very hopeless state. But it's because they've been, they been handling this very difficult job of being the first alone. God says, I want to walk with you. I want to walk with you. God bless you, Danny. May God increase what you're taking. If you gave uh, today, we, we don't ask you to give. So when you give, we're grateful. So thank you so very much. May God increase where you have taken in the name of Jesus. House of Hosting Heaven on YouTube. House of Hosting Heaven on YouTube. If you need a prayer for your firstborn child, I teach people to pray. I try. I teach people to pray. You must be taught to pray. You can't, you can't afford to live a life where people are constantly praying for you. So if you are here, welcome home, prayer governor. If this was your first time, welcome home, prayer governor. This is a place where we travail. We legislate concerning our destinies. It's a, pr it's a place where people, even if you didn't know how to pray, you start learning how to pray. You open up your mouth and you begin to legislate. You take up your legal jurisdiction in the spirit and you learn. How to travail and to contend concerning your family. Love you so much, prayer governors. I'll see you tomorrow morning. And if you missed this, if you missed the full version, go on YouTube, House of Hosting Heaven. It will rebroadcast at 1 p.m. SAST. God bless you, Mel. God bless everybody that's given. May God increase where you've taken. Amen and amen. See you tomorrow morning, prayer governors. You are blessed and highly favored. May this week be filled with a with multiple victories. Receive a conveyor belt of testimonies this week and a conveyor belt of victories whatever you face in this week just know victory is mine in the name of jesus christ amen and amen and amen and amen and amen god bless you god bless you